The sign outside of this elementary school says we miss you and many OCPS parents miss sending their kids to school every day. The district does not know when that's going to happen, but for the first time Thursday, the school board revealed what a safe reopening might look like. Orange County Public Schools say there is no guidance on reopening from the state, so district leaders are left to guess. If I had to bet money on it. My guess is the state at least will give us some parameters around a start date. The district is preparing for a fall return by developing plans which include classroom designs with less than 50% capacity and six feet of social distance between students. School buses would need to drastically reduce the number of passengers. We've just never been in this predicament. School board members agreed at a Thursday work session that virtual learning is not ideal. New graphs portray a learning gap where elementary and middle school students are falling behind in mathematics. OCPS may consider using a blended approach that involves students taking both virtual and in-person courses. The district is creating a re-entry working group to come up with more ideas. One key issue with the district's plans is that OCPS is dealing with serious financial fallout and the district might have trouble budgeting for more teachers if less students are allowed in each classroom. In Orange County, Chris Guardaro, WESH 2 News. Orange County Schools is sending a survey to parents to gauge interest in reopening plans. Superintendent Jenkins says so far 56,000 people have responded, and it looks like this. 38% of parents want children to return to school with safety measures. 24% would like a blend of virtual and in-person classes. 21% remain unsure, and 17% want to continue distance learning.